Hey, what's up? MitchFX here and welcome to this VFX tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can create such Minecraft look in real life integrated in this live action footage. And yeah, what we do is we are gonna track this in 3D space and then make the 3D stuff in Cinema 4D. So first thing we do is go into After Effects and check which frame rate we got, which is very important later on in Buju, where we will drag this. So you just import your footage and you see it's 25 frames. And then just make a new comp, export it, add your render queue, set it to JPEG sequence or TIFF or what you like most and then just create a new folder and yeah then just render it and go into Buju. Now just file open navigate to your folder, select the first one and hit open. So yeah, there we are. So now just, if you want, name it. I'm gonna name this Minecraft Real Life. Uh, it's a free move. Uh, if you, if your camera was on a tripod then select nodal pan and our frame rate was 25 uh, all right hit apply and now maybe you will see that your frame rate changed if that's the case just select it and hit apply so yeah you can also go in here and check it again to be sure because otherwise you will get really bad problems. So yeah what we do is just hit feature tracking and this looks just fine. Hit start and we will see us later. So the track is finished and let's solve the camera. Uh, select optimize camera path smoothness and hit start this is gonna take some time but not much I guess <coughs> sorry and depending on how good your track is this will go pretty fast otherwise just uh, go into feature tracking and uh, change some values, but this seems to be pretty good. So let's see. Yeah, they're sticking pretty well. And yeah, let's add some geometry to this scene. Uh, select add coordinate from hint. Select x-axis. Uh, it's pretty nice here with all these lines. So if you want to make sure that it's pretty good, select the location where you have got lots of geometry. And I will select these hold command on Mac and I guess it's control on Windows and just hit connect to select it same thing with the C axis select these two connect to select it and <coughs> sorry now we need an origin I will select 
this guy, connect to selected, and let's see how it looks in a 3D view. It uh, gets it shift to orient. And uh, seems not to be the best. So uh, I guess we have to hit update coordinate frame. And yeah, that's it. Right, seems pretty good. Really nice. And yeah, just hit close. Go back into the 2D view. And we can insert and test object. Really nice. Sticks really good to the scene. So we can delete it. And yeah, what we got to do now is just export our camera solve. So go to export, export camera solve. Make sure the camera solve one is the same as here in your window. Uh, browse it. So I actually got uh, the self exported, so I'm just gonna show you how you do this. So first select Cinema 4D, uh, then uncheck use format default and set the start index to 0 and the scale seen by to 1000. Yeah, so just hit save. And I guess I just save another one to show you what you need to do then. And yeah, hit save. Shouldn't take too long. So now what you need to do is So I got my track right here. You just need to uh, right click, open other program and search for text edit. You can also do this with any other text program. And now hit command F on Mac. On Windows it's control F I guess. And type in parent item make sure the P and the I are capital then space 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 so 6 0 hit this guy and again same thing parent item 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 2 so only thing that you must change is the 2, so the 1 to 2, and then just replace all. Alright, and now search for minus pi, so minus 3.14, and now this number here, you just need to delete the minus, and paste this entire uh, copy sorry copy this entire number and paste it and make sure you include the minus so this entire number paste and just hit save you can close this and then just open this in cinema 4d So here we are in cinema, you can see this looks good. Camera is moving and the null objects are sticking to the scene. Now uh, open a new material, uncheck specular and go into the color and navigate to your footage. 
select the first one, hit open and now go into the color channel and under animation hit calculate. So now just create a new background and drag and drop it on there. So now it should stick to the scene. Pretty good. So what you need to do now is make these uh, these cubes. These are actually cubes and yeah we need to do uh, create a cloner object. So let's do this. Add a cube. Uh, what you can do is select all those, hit control on Mac and just drag them up. So sorry, 400, hit control and enter. So this will change all the three values. So the scale looks really good. Then just add a cloner object, hit alt, select and this will parent the cube to the clone. So uh, create a grid and uh, we will do 6 in C space. Let's see. Try to make it is as exact as possible. So, two thousand seems good. Uh, let's rest here. Uh, great. Try four. Maybe that's too much, but hmm. let's line it up with the uh, with the floor, so we can see better the dimensions. Looks good, right? And. Uh, Let's do three in Y space. So again, four hundred seems good. So let's rotate it to fit the scene. I'm gonna try to line this up with here. And this seems to be pretty good. 